Hey guys, so here is how our uh, X-Wing is looking so far. Um, so after the previous tutorial, where we did some basic texturing, um, I went back in and I've added in a few little details to our model. You can see here I've added in the uh, detail here on the top. So it's just very simple, basic modeling. You should be able to do that with the knowledge that you've got from tutorial one and two. Um, and then I just, you know, I've added in some some additional textures around here, which again you should be able to do from the previous tutorial. Uh, I put a little scoop in here on the nose part. So here is basically how our model looks so far. So what I'm going to do is we're going to um, do some editing to these basic textures that we've got to give them some glossiness and whatnot. So what we will do is drag open a new window here. And we're going to change this into our node editor. And close that. We'll zoom in. Okay, so these are our material nodes. So we can select the material here and we can begin to add properties to it. So this is our basic property here is our diffuse. Um, and then there's our material output. So I'm going to add into here under the shaders. Um, I'm going to add a glossy shader. So this will allow us to give a little bit of glossiness to our texture. So I'm just going to switch this over here into rendered so we can get a preview of what this will actually look like. Uh, we've also got a preview here on the side. So at the moment you'll see nothing's changed because we need to also add in now what is called a mix shader. And we're going to mix these two shaders together. So our shader output will go to our surface. And here we're going to mix these two different shaders together. And you'll see now we're getting a glossy effect. Now we can choose how glossy we want this to be by adjusting the roughness. So the rougher the surface, the less shiny it will be. So we can adjust the roughness there to get the correct amount of shininess that we want. Now this spacecraft is not going to be overly shiny. So we're going to have quite a relatively high roughness value because we're not going to have a lot of reflectivity coming off of this surface. So that is how we can begin to edit these materials. So let's also then do the same for our red stripe. So we'll add into here a new um, shader. And that will be glossy again. We add in a mix shader. Drop that in. Combine these two together. And again, then adjust the roughness as to how shiny you want that to be. So I think I'll make the red a little bit more shiny and reflective than the rest of our body. So we can adjust the roughness of this to be a little bit less. And our color here, I want to make this white, bright white. And also do that same for the other one here. Make the color bright white. Okay. There's our red stripe. Now our gray steel, I want that to be a lot more reflective than um, the other the other parts here. So our gray steel is this and this here. So we'll add in again a shader. We go to glossy. We add in our mix shader. Drop that in and connect this up and. We'll make that quite shiny. So we'll leave the roughness relatively low there. It's white. Okay. Um, now I'll select another part here. So now we've got our oops, material here. So this is our um, glass. I'll change the name to cockpit glass. Series of one. Okay. So we can choose the amount of shyness and also the color of this. So I'm going to alter the color a little bit. Make it a bit clearer, slightly clearer glass. It's a bit too misty right now. Okay, got that. And then we also have a black. 
part also our black steel so again we're going to add a tech uh, shader to this glossy shader just the roughness and another mix shader to mix these two shaders together there we go so add some shininess to our black a little bit of reflectiveness there okay and I'm going to change our shininess color to be a little darker So our reflections will be a darker color. If you have that bright white, then our reflections are too bright. So there we go. So that's how you can uh, adjust the nodes of our shaders to begin to give them a little bit more realism and reflections in here. Now, the other thing that we're going to want to add in now, I'm going to switch from here into our compositing mode. Um, we'll turn on use backdrop and we'll turn on use nodes and I'm going to add into here an output which will be a viewer plug that in okay and now we can begin to add into here some adjustments so i'm going to add into here a color rgb uh, color balance so that will allow us to now begin to edit just get rid of these They're taking a bit too much space and we don't need them We can begin to edit the color balance of our output here. So we can change the brightness and contrast in the highlights. So we can make the background a little darker. Then we can also begin to change the tint that we have to these different colors here by dragging this around. So we can change the warmness of our shadows and our highlights to get the color that we want. So I want a slightly, ever so slight red tinge to this. Let's drag that lower one down there. So this is how we can begin to then give color correction to our final outputted image and this preview here and then what we will do then is add in another output which will be a file output I'll drag this into there we also want to put our composite into here as well and our file output we can choose where we want to save our final outputted file so I'm going to put it in here so then when you hit render and we do a render of this, it will use our new materials and it will also then at the end apply the compositing that we just added in here. So if we hit render, we'll just take a few moments for the rendering to be done. And then once it's done, it will then apply those color corrections and composites and it will output a file to the directory that we just selected. If we were to increase the um, sample 
rate, then we would have you know more more detail, um, but it would take longer to render. So when I come to do our final render, then I'll probably increase that sample rate more. But you can see now we're beginning to get these uh, reflections here in the glass. We've got some reflections here in this metal part that we made more reflective. Um, I think the whole scene is a little bit too bright for my liking, so we'll probably go back over into our compositing. Node editor, I think the whole thing is a little bright, so I'm going to bring in some of those shadows again, increase the contrast slight, a little bit. And I think we need to adjust the, the actual lighting and maybe of our whole scene to make everything brighter. So let's jump over into our 3D view. Our light is maybe a little bit far away. That's why our scene is a little dark. So we'll bring this closer in. So the light is traveling a little less distance. That should make everything brighter. Because there's a fall off to the light, obviously. The further away the light source is from the final image, the more darker it will be. I think I'm going to add in a couple of other lights also. Or we can just increase the power of the light that we already have. Make, let's make the size a little bit larger. Okay, go back to our camera view. Rendered. I think I want to add in another light, just, just one more light source. So I'm going to control D to duplicate this. We'll change the type to a point. Just going to move this into position. Right around here. Okay, we'll go back to our camera view. Preview again. There we go. So now it's a little bit brighter around here with that additional light in place. We'll give us more highlight there. And then we'll go over and hit our render button again. And let's take a look at how this looks. And there we go, there's our final output there with our composites added, our lighting in place, and you'll see now that we're starting to get a much more um, authentic and believable look now. We're still not uh, quite like this yet. Um, this is gonna require customized texturing and UV mapping to be added, to uh, add in these dirt, dirt streaks and everything on the wings. Um, and we'll cover that in a later tutorial, but. Uh, this is um, enough for you to, uh, you know, begin to get an idea as to how our final output will look.